In this video, uh, we're going to talk about the role of uh, services or providers or injectables uh, in an Ionic Angular application. Uh, we're going to talk briefly about what they are in general and when you should be using them. So I have just a simple Ionic application, just a blank starter template uh, on the screen right now. And so what we're looking at is one of the page components in the application. So I'll just bring that up now to look at. So with our page components, we have a template file and we have our TypeScript file. And so the template contains the actual sort of view that's being displayed on the screen. And then the TypeScript file is some uh, logic associated with that template. So in the template file for our page, we might have some a button somewhere that has a click handler that's then going to trigger uh, an event binding that we have set up in here. And then we can do something with that. So for the sake of, it, of an example, let's just say we have an ion button in here and that has a click handler and that's going to trigger do something. And then so if we had a method in our uh, TypeScript file here called do something, we could then do something. And so I guess the kind of natural assumption then is that uh, we should sort of do all of our logic in here and all of the view stuff in here. But as your application starts to become more complex, you don't want to have your pages uh, overflowing with a, with a lot of complex logic. Uh, in general, we should only be using the page TypeScript files to handle simple event bindings like this or uh, setting up some variables, doing some initial sort of set up logic for the page. Any of the more complex logic should happen in services. So so that we have something to look at, let's create a service to begin with. Uh, so I'm going to run Ionic G service. And we're going to create that in services forward slash, uh, we'll just call this one, I'll just call it example because I can't think of anything else right now. Okay, so that will create our service for us in here. And so the difference between a service and a normal component, as you can see here, a service is, uh, uses the uh, injectable decorator. A service doesn't have an associated view. It's purely meant for running logic. And so you can see here that we're providing this service in root. So we use the provided in uh, property and we supply that with root. And what this does is it creates something called a, a singleton of this uh, service here. And I just realized that I spelt that terribly, or right, exam ample. Uh, anyway, this will create a singleton of our exam ample service across the whole application, which means there's a single instance of it, that the entire application will share that one instance will be shared throughout the whole application, which means that if we change some variable in this service in one page, it'll also be reflected in, in another page. And so it's a great way to uh, if you need to share data across uh, different pages, you can use a service to do that. So if I wanted to keep track of, um, let's say we offer a way to uh, set a specific theme in the application. So uh, we could have, say, a class member called uh, user theme, and that's going to be uh, some object. We'll just use a string for now. So we could create some method in here that our pages could call to change this user theme. And then from any page in our application, we would be able to check what that user theme uh, variable is. If instead we say use that uh, variable inside of our page, we wouldn't be able to access that from other pages. And although it is technically possible to access, um, say if I had an edit page, I could technically access uh, methods and properties on that edit page from the home page. Uh, but you should absolutely avoid um, doing that. If you do need any kind of inter page communication, uh, just create a service and do it that way. And so in general, it's just good to try and keep your pages as light as possible. If you start getting a page with, uh, say 200 lines of code, uh, you should try to simplify that and move things out into services. And so let's say for example, here, uh, with our do something uh, event binding that we have set up, and it's fine when we click this, it's going to call do something. Uh, in general, we wouldn't want this to be any more than a few lines of code. Maybe we do do a thing or two, and then we call some uh, provider, some service we have set up to handle the, the complex logic for us. So in that case, we would just inject our uh, the provider that we uh, created. So we'd say import, and since I have that awful spelling, I'm gonna have to make sure I get that right. So it's import exam ample service 
from services, exam mample service. And then we can just inject that into our constructor here. I'm just going to rename this to my service as the, the variable here. And I even spelled uh, constructor wrong as well. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we now we have this uh, service accessible through this page. So if I wanted to do whatever it was I wanted to do, I'd say this dot my service dot, and then I'd call uh, something in here. So maybe I have some method in here that's like do the hard stuff. And then I would just call that from here, do the hard stuff. And we'd probably pass something into that as well. What we want to avoid doing in pages is doing things like uh, let's say we run some code in our event binding here. We don't use a service. Instead, we just you know do the hard stuff in here. And then maybe there's some other method as well, like some other thing. And then this is when our pages start getting complicated because we start doing all of the uh, the complex logic in here. So we call this method, and that method's calling another method. And then we just end up with this really bloated page that's probably going to be you know several hundred lines long or something like that. Uh, instead, we should just break that logic up and uh, use services to uh, do the work for the page. Our page's role primarily is to display something to the user, handle those event bindings. Uh, it isn't responsible for doing complex logic. And so typically, you do stuff like, say, saving uh, data, just to give you an actual example rather than using these uh, silly placeholders. Let's say instead that our do something method uh, was responsible for uh, saving some data. When you click a button, you want to save some data in the application. So you could, for example, uh, import the Ionic storage service in here into this page directly, and then you could call this dot storage dot set uh, whatever. Uh, but again, that's it's work that the uh, page shouldn't be responsible for doing. Instead, you should have a provider to do that, and you just call this dot my service dot save or something like that, you'd have to obviously set that method up in your service. And you just pass whatever you want to save to that. And there's a few benefits to doing this. And one is that obviously, it's keeping the code in our page much lighter, you're not going to have as much code in your page components, and it's going to make the code more organized. Uh, if you want to look at, you know, how you're saving code in your application, you can just go to the the service that is responsible for saving and loading data rather than having to dig through your pages and find uh, where you're doing that. Uh, if you wanted to change this in the future, for example, if all of your pages are just referencing the service that's responsible for saving and loading data, if you wanted to change the implementation of that in the future, you could just change it in the service itself. Maybe instead of storing data in local storage, you want to switch that to uh, you know, storing your data in Firebase or something else. It is going to be much easier to make that change if you're using services for that rather than hard coding everything into every individual page. And another benefit is that you get to reuse code more easily rather than having to write code for every single page, you can just write it once into a service and you can share that code with all of your pages rather than having to rewrite it for every single page. And so saving data is a very common example and most apps will probably have some kind of data service to save and load data. Uh, but you can use services for just about everything. So let's say if I don't know, maybe in this page, you were performing some complex mathematical operation, it's like maybe the user enters in two values, and you do some crazy algorithm that calculates, uh, you know, when they're going to find true love or something like that. So in that case, let's say, you know, we had a method here, it's like calculate true love. And then in here, you know, we could have all of that crazy mathematics that needs to happen for that uh, happening in this method right here. So we'd probably have, you know, all this code, maybe it goes on for hundreds of lines. Uh, instead of doing that, we should create a service called the love calculator or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we need to make sure we inject that service, our love service in here first, of course, but then uh, rather than having calculate true love, um, we would just uh, say this dot um, whatever our love service is called, this dot love service dot calculate true love. And then we'd pass in whatever parameters are necessary to figure that out. And once again, obviously, this makes our page simpler, our page isn't responsible for as much, it's just responsible for actually displaying things to the user. 
but as well as that, we could now then use that method in our other pages as well. We could access it uh, from anywhere in our application. And if we need to keep track of some variables in that service as well, we could access those uh, throughout the application easily. And so the general goal here is just to keep these pages as simple uh, as possible. So if you're starting to write a page and you know it's getting to 200, 300, 400 lines, even if it's 60 lines or something like that, just look through it and see and see if your page is doing more work than it needs to. If you have a method in your uh, page TypeScript file here that isn't being called from the uh, from your template, that isn't an event binding, and then consider whether it would be better to move that method uh, out of your page into a service. Uh, even if it's only that one page that's accessing that functionality. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please do feel free to like and subscribe uh, and check out my Twitter and all that in the description as well. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.